The McDonnell XF-88 Voodoo was an American long-range, twin-engine jet fighter developed in the late 1940s by the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation for the United States Air Force. Conceived as a penetration fighter to escort strategic bombers deep into enemy territory, it became the crucial stepping stone that led to the supersonic F-101 Voodoo and helped secure McDonnell's reputation as a leading aircraft manufacturer. Work on the project began on April 1, 1946, under the company's internal designation Model 36. The Air Force sought a high-speed, long-range escort fighter to replace the piston-engine North American P-51 Mustang. McDonnell engineers, including Dave Lewis and Kendall Perkins, designed a streamlined aircraft with swept wings, a conventional tail, and two Westinghouse J-34 turbojet engines buried in the lower fuselage. The design provided space for large fuel tanks, giving the Voodoo its intended long range. The XF-88 was equipped with provisions for six 20mm M39 cannons in the nose and featured a pressurized cockpit with an ejection seat. The first prototype, 46 f 525, made its maiden flight on October 20, 1948, piloted by Robert Edholm. Tests showed excellent handling, but insufficient thrust. The aircraft's top speed of 641 miles per hour, approximately 132 kilometers per hour, was below expectations. The second prototype, 46526, designated XF-88A, was fitted with afterburners to improve performance. It achieved speeds of up to 700 miles per hour, about 1,127 kilometers per hour, but suffered from reduced range due to higher fuel consumption. Despite these issues, the XF-88 was selected over competing designs, the Lockheed XF-90 and North American YF-93, in the Air Force's Penetration Fighter competition of 1950. However, budget cuts and shifting military priorities led to the program's cancellation that same year. In 1952, the first prototype was modified into the XF-88B, which combined its turbojet engines with an Allison XT-38 turboprop. This version served as a supersonic propeller testbed, reaching speeds slightly above Mach 1 in dives, making it the first propeller-equipped aircraft to do so. Though the XF-88 never entered production, it became the direct predecessor of the F-101 Voodoo, which first flew in 1954 and went on to serve as a supersonic fighter bomber and reconnaissance platform throughout the Cold War. The lessons learned from the XF-88's aerodynamic design engine integration, and flight testing were instrumental in shaping McDonnell's later successes, including the legendary F-4 Phantom II. Today, the XF-88 Voodoo is remembered as a critical experimental aircraft that bridged the gap between early subsonic jets and the supersonic fighters that defined the jet age.